Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, we will be doing a quick analysis of today's exam, which was September 2022 exam, or you can call it the June 2022 exam, which has been conducted in September now. So basically, guys, how was the exam? What kind of questions we had, and uh, what we can expect from this exam? Like all that, we will be discussing in this video today. And this is going to be for physics or you can say physical science. So we are just going to continue that discussion now. If I'm going to talk about today's exam guys. So how was part A? How was part B? How was part C? We had in this exam. We will be talking about all these points one by one. So if I'm going to talk about the overall exam. Okay. What kind of exam we had? Was it quite difficult, easy or moderate? So in that case, we need to understand that as always we consider this part, it's the exam. So it will be mixture of easy and the tough questions. We can't expect all the questions to be easy or all the questions to be difficult ones. Okay, it just depends like what are the topics you have prepared. And if you got the questions from those topics, you will be finding them easy. If you have missed some of the topics and you were not focusing on them too much, you will be finding those topics based questions quite difficult. If it is very much basic portion, but you were not studying or revising it since a long time, you may find that point quite difficult at that moment. So it's just like that. Similarly, uh, it can be quite easy for someone. It can be quite difficult for someone. And it just depends on our preparation. But overall analysis, if we will do, and we are going to compare it with some previous year question papers, okay, or previous year questions. So in that case, it was quite easy in comparison, okay, because something uh, you can say have been taken from the previous year question paper. Some of the questions were quite related to those previous years concepts based questions we had. So we can say it was overall not that much difficult question paper we had okay and if somebody has considered those previous year questions over preparing those concepts just by observing the pyqs okay or by considering them so they will be finding like most of the questions were quite simple and easy there and they will not be finding them difficult at all clear so I hope you got to know that when we were just keep on working on the PYQs and uh, we focus more on them. So what is the importance of PYQ after observing or after getting to know about the questions we had today in the exam? If I'm going to talk about the separate sections now, so that's going to be part A, part B and part C. Clear? So in the part A, we had like much more easy questions as we can't expect all to be easy but you can say like around uh, 10 12 questions were quite easy may not be for everyone but if we will see the overall level of the questions or if you are going to focus a little bit on the question statement you are just uh, uh, like focusing on that part then it was quite easy for you to work on those questions so we can consider it was overall an easy part this time okay or if you are the one like who was considering like no i'm not able to solve many questions there so it can be moderate for you but overall according to me as i have got to know that's going to be what it's quite easy clear if i'm going to talk about the part b here so in the part b again we had some of the questions which were just based on the formulae and again if you have prepared those topics then part b can look like quite easy to you but if there were some of the questions which you were finding like you didn't prepare them or you have missed the formula based on the topics okay uh, based on which you got the questions so then it can be quite difficult for you so we can take it in the moderate uh type of uh, like questions we had in the part b instead of all easy because again it depends on your preparation okay whether you found uh, you have found it easy or difficult or moderate so for some of the students it can be easy if they have prepared all the topics based on which we had the questions there and for some it can be moderate too clear now in the part c we had the questions uh, which you can consider again the mixture of the easy plus the moderate questions but 
uh, even if you were finding like some of the questions were difficult there in that case i think there were not so many questions which were quite difficult that was again the mixture of easy moderate uh, like more than 50 percent of the questions were like that and f a few of them were uh, like from the difficult part okay so this is how if we are going to consider the overall question paper here is one more conclusion we can consider that it's not more about that uh, uh, how you are considering the questions it matters a lot here okay it's not about like whether you directly know the formula you are able to write it or get the answer that matters obviously but at the same time understanding the question is even very much important because that will be your first step okay uh, which you have to take whenever you are going to start solving the questions whenever you are going to relate the concepts so if you have got some of the topics there uh, based on which you were not familiar with the formulae you need to prepare those topics now in upcoming days or you are preparing for any other exam and you think like yeah i have to focus more on these topics because i didn't focus on them uh, in this exam so surely make a separate note of those points okay and in that case what will happen you will be able to work on those topics try to work on the mistakes you have made or you think during your preparation time you have not considered some of the topics uh, quite like uh, important and uh, they were there in the exam the questions based on them were there one more thing guys here we can consider like generally we expect the questions uh, from green's function or some of the other topics are even there we consider that we are going to have those particular type of questions from those topics uh, you may have found like questions were there uh, but they have got changed a little bit at the same time like if I will talk about the mathematical physics part contour integration question was there if I'm going to talk about matrix question it was there okay if I'm going to talk about the operational amplifier based question it was there so there are some of the topics we always expect like oh it's going to be important and we can expect the questions based on it and we got those questions too so uh, like this question paper was overall a type of question paper we had okay uh, which was not that much difficult okay and in that case if i'm gonna talk about the cutoff marks here so it can be considered as that it can be like as you got or you had the cutoff in the last few years okay so we can consider that it can be near about or you can say closer to the highest cutoff you had in the last few years or in the recent years so you can expect it to be like that but it is just the expected one so until and unless we will get to know like how all the students have performed or most of the students have performed in the exam how many questions they have done right they have done wrong because sometimes it happens things look like quite easy but still we make some mistakes there so depending on that the cutoff will get decided or you will get to know about it soon like official cutoff but it can be the approximate one okay you can expect it to be there so i hope it's gonna be clear to everyone guys and uh, thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end again if you have done good in this exam that's great okay uh, still try to check out what were the points where you need to work more or what were the points which were your strong points there which were helping you to solve more and more questions so overall analysis from your side will also be helping you a lot so you can do that too okay it will be helpful now let's keep it this much right now in the session guys and thank you so much everyone for joining this session and for attending it till the end and guys if you are new on this channel that is mission net physics exam in that case you can subscribe this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video and you can share it with your friends as well even one more update i would like to share that today is the last day to take the unacademy subscription with the latest offer which is going on okay as per which you will be getting the 20 percent discount in the total unacademy subscription amount by using and by applying the referral code which is anjali a live as mentioned here on the screen so if you will be using and applying the referral code anjali a live 
as it has been mentioned here on the screen then you will be able to get the discount in the total subscription amount so if you think you want to do the best preparation under the guidance of top educators and you want to prepare important tricks concepts you want to know about the right approach to solve the questions for your upcoming exams whether for net or for gate exam or any other similar exam then you can take your subscription today because you will be getting the 20 percent discount in the total unacademy subscription amount if you will be taking the unacademy subscription when the offer is going on and whenever you will proceed further to take the subscription use and apply the referral code which is actually a live as mentioned here on the screen also guys more details are here if you will be taking the unacademy plus or the iconic subscription you will be able to check out the notes as well all the details about it have been shown here on the screen too you can have a look at this along with that what are the benefits you will be getting if you will take the Un unacademy iconic subscription all that have been shown here along with that what is the difference between the plus and the iconic subscription that has also been shown here so you can have a look at all these things and you can take your subscription get the benefit like get the discount in the total subscription amount and all the important slides are even here like an academy light subscription and all the details about it but the most important thing, thing is that today is the last day to grab this offer. So if anybody was waiting to take the subscription or wants to take the subscription now because you want to start your preparation under the guidance of top educators, then you can take the subscription today. Use and apply the referral code as well as it has been mentioned here on the screen. That is Anjali A Live. Okay, by applying the referral code, you will be getting the discount in the total subscription amount. Thank you so much everyone for joining the session and for attending it till the end. Thank you.